Hello, I'm Joy, the Upcycle Chick. I'm all about reuse, repurpose, recycle. And I'm gonna show you today how to make a ghost strip. But first of all, it's Halloween, so let me entertain you just for a moment. Whoa. My mom put this here. I think it has something to do with my husband, I'm not sure because she said this one was for me. I'm not sure what that means either. But anyway, stepping back and looking up, there's our ghost. Ooh. And of course at night, you put like a blue or purple light under it and it picks up all this reflection and light and it is really, really cool looking. Here it is. As she spins it around. All right, that's the back. All right, now I'll admit she's not in perfect shape here. <laughs> this is her third Halloween, and uh, she's constantly working on her figure. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I did it. I actually started with a bodice top. Oh, first of all, so this is packing tape, um, not scotch tape. If, if I say scotch tape, I mean packing tape, okay? But I started with a bodice figure from um, sewing, because I do sew a little bit, and I started with sticky side out against this figure, and I went round and round, start at the top, round and round and round and round and round, okay? It went to about here, and then sticky side in, round and round and round and round and round. Okay, so it's sticking to itself and it's getting this figure so that it's not sticky on the front or the back. Okay, from there, I forget what I used originally, but I went from here, maybe it was a kitchen chair or something, or a milk can, but I went from here and did strips and went straight down, sticky side out, all the way around, and then sticky side in, all the way around. So it's sticking to itself, which created this wonderful, uneven texture at the bottom right here, which is really, really cool. So it gives it more of that ghostly look. Yep. All right, now, um, don't be worried about all the little folds and stuff because what happens is when you put a light under here, all of these little pieces that you didn't get quite right and there's a seam folded or tape overlapped or whatever, all these little pieces it was is what reflects the light. So what I did when I was done with the top and the bottom is I put it all together in the middle here, which is good because I wanted that waistline to stay. Ah, it came unhooked a little bit. I need to pull, make sure not to pull on her. But anyway, maybe she'll fall. I have no idea. But anyway, I wanted to be careful with this waistline. Um, so I taped it all together really, really good. Tried to make it sturdy. And what's interesting is the light really, really picks up on this waistline because there's so much tape. So it just really spreads through the whole top bodice part and it's really very lovely at night. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of touch of feminine, but a little touch of ghost. So it's really, really cool. Um, before, uh, I think my first year, what I did, um, cause she was more stable on the bottom. Um, she's been crumpled a little bit here and there. We have to always work on her figure every year. Um, but the first year, what I was able to do is actually set her on my dining room table and open up the, um, the drapes at night. And she just glowed through the window, put the light right underneath her. And um, I just aim it right through the top, shining right through the top. And it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so cool. So that's basically what I did. Oh yeah, also, um, I realized with the bodice top that uh, I couldn't get the top off. I'm like, oh crap, what am I gonna have to do? So I had to think about it for like, you know, 24 hours or so. And what I decided to do in the back was actually cut a slit from here down and then do a hole puncher on both sides and then lace it up with some really pretty lace, um, kind of like Victorian style, like a corset, and then tied it with a bow. And this is nice too because I'm able to, you know, hook it and some, hook some things in the holes. But actually, I wanna show you my hookup idea too here. Here, I'll show you this one. All right. Um, it's right here. This is just a hook that I used. I had a little wire and this is just a little hook from the Home Depot department. But anyway, um, that's how I hook it up and I can just kind of hook it anywhere. I've also used the kind of 
um, plastic hanger that um, you can get like at Walmart or Target. It's got like a hook on the top and like hooks on both sides, like a bar with hooks on the ends, like for hanging up pants or shorts or something. Um, that's what I usually use with that. But this I thought would, was neat as far as how it would extend and all that. So she's hanging a little crooked right now, but she's still pretty as ever. And she's even better looking at night. So it's just, I wasn't, I didn't know how that would pick up with, um, you know, the camera and all that good stuff. So, um, but anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this as much as I have making it. Um, I enjoyed making the dress. I enjoy making the videos. So thank you so much. And please hit like, subscribe, comment below, and share the video if you like it. So I want to know if you make a dress like this. Please let me know. Post a picture. Post a video. That would be so totally cool. So, all right. Thanks. Bye.